What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our SEC football channel. 2020 was another solid year for the Florida Gators, getting another New Year Six Bowl win despite having a pretty difficult schedule. Uh, you can look back at 2019, they had to play Auburn out of the uh, West, and also, of course, they play LSU every year. LSU, the number one team in the country, so that was a pretty tough draw there. They also played Miami and Florida State in the non conference. I know those two teams' programs are down right now, but still, those were power five, uh, pretty quality wins for the Gators. And um, you look ahead at 2020, it is a much more favorable schedule for the Gators. Uh, and I will show you that schedule. And again, last year, very, very tough. This year, much, much easier. So let's go ahead and look at that schedule now. Here it is. They open up the season on September 5th against Eastern Washington. And their non-conference matchups outside of Florida State, who they play every year, are Eastern Washington, South Alabama, and New Mexico State. So again, you can see that is a pretty favorable schedule. Uh, week two, they play September 12th against Kentucky. They'll have that game at home. Kentucky has played Florida really tough the last few years. Um, that's going to be an interesting game there. Kentucky should be pretty good this year, uh, this upcoming season. So, yeah, September 12th against Kentucky. That's going to be a pretty big game, I think, in a game that Florida cannot overlook. They play South Alabama on September 19th. That, again, should be an easy win. And then another tricky game comes on September 26th on the road at Tennessee. I know they beat Tennessee easily last year, but Tennessee really improved down the stretch. It's a team that got better and better and finished as one of the hottest teams in the country. And this game's on the road. It's a you know rivalry matchup. That, I think, could be a really big test for Florida. Uh, so circle that one on September 26th. Big game, and we're going to find out. You know that's, that's Tennessee's chance. That is Tennessee's chance to show that they – uh, have arrived that they are a player in the SEC East. And we'll see if they can do it on October. On yeah, October third, they play South Carolina. Gamecocks don't really know for sure how good they're going to be next year. Uh, so that's an interesting game there. But Florida gets them at home before playing LSU at home. Going to be a big game. LSU loses a lot. The game is in the swamp. You'd have to probably favor Florida in that matchup right now. Um, a long way to go before the season starts. So. A lot of things, you know, that, that could fall into place that I might change my mind there. But right now, yeah, I'd say Florida probably favored against LSU at home. And then on October 17th, they play on the road at Ole Miss. That is a tricky game there as well. Lane Kiffin, of course, taking over at Ole Miss. Uh, they've got some talent there. If you watched our video over on the main channel about uh, the overrated, underrated teams and you saw Ole Miss, what they did, uh, how many one-possession games that they had that they lost, and if those had gone the other way, uh, this is going to be a good team, I think. It's some nice talent on the roster. Lane Kiffin can pull it together. Uh, that could be a little bit of a challenge for Florida on the road right after playing LSU. They do get a bye week after that game, though, so that's good news. They get the bye week before playing Georgia, and this most likely is going to be the game that determines the SEC East. Whoever wins this game, I think, is probably going to win this division. You know, Tennessee might might jump in there. Who knows? Kentucky might surprise um, but you feel like it's it's Florida, Georgia, again, in the East. And uh, the, if you win this game, then the only way you're not going to win the division is if you lose two other conference games because of the tiebreaker. So this is just a, a monster game, a game uh, that may have not just SEC East implications, but college football playoff implications. Uh, Halloween, October 31st. Huge game between Florida and Georgia. We go to November, and they play on the road at Vanderbilt to open up the month. Should be a, a fairly easy win for the Gators. Then Missouri at home on November 14th. Missouri has given Florida a lot of trouble the last few years, but finally the Gators seem to uh, to take care of business against them. New Mexico State on the 21st, and then they close out the year on the road at Florida State. It's a rivalry game. It's on the road. Mike Dorval taking over as their head coach. How will they look? Uh, that could be a little bit of a tricky game. So oh, overall, you look at this Florida schedule and you say, yeah, it's a weak schedule. Look at their non-conference schedule. They don't really play anybody. Not bad at all. But there are some just really tricky games in there. Tennessee on the road. Ole Miss on the road. Florida State on the road. So there are some, there is some potential for Florida to, to stumble. But if they take care of business, if they play their A game with this schedule, 
uh, they should have a really, really good year and should be right there. I think not just in the SEC East race, but in the college football playoff race as well uh, with this 2020 schedule for the Gators. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.